mine for quite some time and we hope to honestly with the recent news of how things are opening up here in california who knows man we'll be doing msm offline some point maybe in the closer future man fingers crossed things go well that way but let's get into here a game one between ape man and poke lamb in winners quarters look i'm gonna be real with you mighty man who do you got your money on who who, who you been on who you been on Probably Ape Man because I mean I played uh, this I've played Rob before and Robs are like they're a very hard character to fight. Yeah, he's got a lot of tools in the neutral. Like we talked about how Gyro is just a really big tool for him, but also being able to effectively charge laser, angle laser, and then effectively how that coerces with Gyro. Rob down tilt is something to be scared about because it's, it has no reason being that good. Robo arms being a reflector and a kill combo, man, that hurts. So, uh, and then a lot of Rob's aerials have a good time lasting as well they last longer than you think plus rob's back air is just ridiculous but man that up down throw upper the tombstone pile driver some people like to call it depending on who you are on the receiving end but it's a classic kill option for rob and you definitely know why rob is a terror to deal with both online and offline especially because since uh rob is able to do so much uh within his he has so much in his arsenal and also he's like able to do so many combos on top of that, he's also heavyweight, so like it makes it difficult to KO him as well. Yeah, it really, really does. He's one of those characters that like <laughs> you have. It's it's just a character altogether. I tell people Rob cheats. I like Ape Man as a player, and I like him as a Rob main. But sometimes, man, if I were in the receiving end of fighting Rob, I could definitely tell you this character feels like he cheats. Uh, complaints aside, though. That's what makes Rob such a strong pick in the Wi-Fi meta, but that's a Barry here coming out from Pokeland and the up smash to take care of it. Barry for Barry, stock for stock. I mean, never mind. Ape Man strikes back into the fear of his opponents. That invincibility from the Angel platform can definitely take away a lot from you if you're not ready. And unfortunately, Pokeland was caught in the setup. Yeah, uh, looks like Ape Man's keeping Pokeland in the air right now. Oh, but Pokeland is also keeping uh, Ape Man off stage. Just he's trying to get in close so we can try to get uh so we can try to pull off a grab. Uh, he's got Gyro with him right now, so he can just keep that away from Ape Ape Man for a good bit. Yeah, and you see Poke Lamb kind of like re reaffirm himself with the Gyro. Unfortunately, losing Gyro in that situation because I believe there's a second time. There's like a couple seconds where if you do pocket something after a while, it'll definitely disappear from your arsenal. So you want to make sure you bring that item back out and then refresh it as soon as possible. All right, let's see. I mean, Pokalam right now is hit. He's uh, sitting at a high percent. Since Villager is a light character, he's gonna have to be careful here. Uh, yeah, that was good though. Using the pocket to actually cross up there on Ape Man to kind of get back on the stage. The one thing here I have to give Ape Man credit is that he's definitely understanding full well of how villagers toolkit works like look at that gyro combo immediately the z drop into the neutral air but also he knows the one thing pokemon might have gone for was the gyro the i'm sorry the lloyd's the lloyd rocket for the low recovery to cover ape and man as you can see it there and then try to go under the stage ape and man trying to make the call out but unfortunately pokemon pokemon there was able to recover first and get the bowling ball and that's one thing i've always appreciated about ape and man is his understanding of how certain matchups work with certain characters these ape men using that back air to thrust himself towards uh, the the ledge right there. Um, also, poke oh and gyro snipe to get the win. Wow. <laughs> I told you this character has got such an arsenal. His arsenal is so good that his arsenal recharges itself. And if that's not cheating, I don't know what it is, man. It feels like he's playing Call of Duty with all the like all the perks activated, and you're just like, come on, man. I just I'm a level four noob. I can't even get anything going. Especially with the way that Gyro just goes along with Laser. I think the, the character has a very strong keep away game. And that's kind of what makes Rob so strong online. Is that really, really strong projectile game. That your character has to be at least as good or better than Rob. In terms of close quarters combat or even range to be able to just deal with the character. And I think for Ape Man, he understands where Pokelam wants to be in that mid-range with the with back air and forward air. And if you're punishing before it can get that mid range, if your mid range is better than villagers mid range, then you are effectively already winning most of the battle. Yeah, I mean, it look, uh, po Pokalem might switch character or not, uh, depends on what they're going to do here. Um, I, I could see a character switch possibly happen, 
But I mean, I'm not sure because last nah, game we did. there oh, it is. Different. There it is. You called it, Mighty Man. I mean, you can kind of tell when someone's gonna switch character. I feel sometimes that's true. For me, it's been difficult sometimes because, like, you know, sometimes the stage choice. Uh, definitely going to Pokemon Stadium too is gonna definitely help out a lot here for both. I, honestly, it's just a great starter stage for both characters compared to Town and City. But there's a reason why you know Pokelam doesn't want to use Town and City because he's no. I'm sorry, Villager, because he's no longer pretty much Villager. Sorry, loss of words here, but no more loss of words for Pokelam because look at this big combo. Not even at loss of anything, man. Just able to get a lot going on Ape and Man, 41 to 42 percent, and Pokelam is effectively able to camp out Rob in a situation where Rob would prefer to have projectiles out. Steve here, or as they, as they like to call him, Enderman, can definitely have ways to just avoid a lot of things from Rob. But we'll see. I mean, when it comes to close quarters combat, you kind of have to still respect Rob because the things you can get with forward air, down tail, and robo arms, ugh. Yeah, I mean, Enderman uh, has a uh, a lot of tools uh, and weapons to use uh, <clears throat> against Rob. So if he's able to possibly uh, use the forward air pickaxe to, uh, make ape Bit man go, uh, to spike him. This could possibly, uh, be very good for him. He also has the minecart, uh, as well to trap ape, ape Bit man. Oh, nice, uh, robo arms to kill him though. Yeah, honestly, before he sees that Pokemon let go of the ledge there, and when you let go of the ledge, you no longer have ledge of its ability and you leave yourself vulnerable. But that was a really good awareness coming from you, mighty man. Cause yes, that card is a really good way to trap. Rob, it's one of the best option selects in the game, if not the best. But it's also so good to call out projectiles because when you have the powered minecart, you're just essentially calling out your opponent's end lag for them going for the projectiles. And it's so strong against so many characters, especially a character like Rob. Oh, trying to uh, uh, trying to keep 8-Bit Man off the stage with the anvil. Uh, trying to use this down. Oh my goodness, he's down tilting the giant. Oh my, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's something else. I've never seen that before from a Rob player. Yeah. Oh, he's got a diamond though, so like he can. Uh, if he, he should, he shouldn't do it now, but he should do it next stock, so he can get that epic knockback and also high damage. Uh, but his pickaxe did just break, so uh, it won't. I, he's not gonna be able uh, to mine very well. All oh, that block interrupting his side smash knockback. Yeah, uh, and that's the thing about where the crafting table is at, depending on the stage, too. If it's nowhere near you, effectively, you're kind of, like, stuck without some of your best tools. And even there, you can tell that when you're only using your hands to mine out materials, it's not as good as when you have at least any of your tools from the, specifically, the crafting table. But you can tell what Ape Man understands in that situation. He's like, he knows, if I let this man near that crafting table, he's going to have the opportunity. But I think this is what I'm liking for Pokelamp is he takes advantage of, like, I see the situation between me and Ape and Man. I need this stock now. I cannot afford to waste time at that crafting table, but no up smash, no starting hitbox here, and that is the Tombstone Pile Drive for Ape and Man with such a strong three-stock lead. Mighty Man makes you wonder, should he be a stayed villager? Is this the right pick after all? I mean, he does have his diamonds now, so he could yeah. possibly come back with these diamonds. Uh, I, I, knew, uh, I could tell why he didn't craft at all last stock because i mean he would waste his diamonds if he did die which he was at very high percent so his only choice to do anything was uh just kind of camp a little bit and pass and get iron to hit him with the minecart to rack up the damage there yeah and that was a good two on the mix of there from pokemon because he kind of faked out him going off stage ape man trying to change the mash out timing and that's what you kind of want to do when you get stuck in minecart is watch out for your mash out all right, but so far, Pokemon getting back on the stage. No few up tilts here. You know, Ape Man has that great back air with Rob just because it pushes Rob towards the stage and has great knockback. It's ridiculous. Yeah. All right, nice minecart, but the gyro interrupting him. Oh, nice spot dodge there to dodge the gyro. Down tilt with the flint and steel. Back throw. Oh, almost hits him with that neutral B, though. Yeah. Nice back air coming out from Pokemon. Is he going to hit him with the... Oh, I thought he was going to go for an anvil right there. And that would have been a good setup too, just knowing how Rob can you know, stall himself for that low recovery. And I mean, it's hopefully not too little too late for Pokemon. 129 on the last stock here, 2 minutes 40 seconds. Time will barely play a factor on the board, but man, Pokemon's got to have a lot of aggression coming out of this situation. So far, he's got a really great wall coming out, and he's able to kind of ride the minecart almost to glory, gets the spike with no follow up. Well, I I'm actually surprised that I just noticed uh, man got two diamonds in like very short time so if his weapons do break and he will be able to get another diamond set if he's able to clutch this 
Can you imagine if Sakurai just gave Minecraft Steve armor like he has in his own game? That'd be crazy. But that would kind of be. I would think that would, that would be OP at yeah. this point. <laughs> he already has enough from weapons and items, man. Can you imagine if he could actually craft that armor like he does in the game? Uh, yeah. But anyway, so dream moves aside. Oh no. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So the thing here in that situation is that Elytra has a starting hitbox, but it doesn't have the hitbox all the way through. So you can essentially intercept it. And that's what Ape and Man kind of understand. If it's Elytra, I can take care of that with no problem. But yeah, uh, that was a, a good set with uh, between Pokalim and